Ngozi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, this is a pleasant surprise. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. You look gorgeous. You don't look bad yourself. All thank right. you. Oh, please, let us see now. Very long time. This can't be true. To see me. Mm -hmm. But your husband. Oh, didn't I tell you? He's been in England for six months now. So he left you all alone? I'm very lonely too. Where is your landlady? Um, she went for a women's meeting. Have some meat. Come on. Yeah, I'm okay. Sure. Delicious meal. Thanks. Okay. Oh, come on, Dilly. Not now. I'm going Mama, you're back. Welcome, ma. Kari. Mommy Agba. Bami Dele. Bami Dele. Mama. Shala Fiano. Adukwe wa. Mama Yinko. Awa wa ma. Shala Fiano wa. Adukwe wa. Adukwe wa. This is my auntie. Oh. Yeah. You mo ko wa ino ti gbale wa. Mami Dele. Eh, Bami Dele. Wow. Eh, to ba mo kbe. I broom you, dear. Oh, the king's your mile. Well, I tell you, in century or a kick, kill it, come at a confessor. Oh, eh, Mamma, Mamma, by the side of my bedroom. Oh, the look in your mile. Broom it, the look, and it will call up. Gosie, excuse me. So you invited me here to kill me, eh? To kill you? Magu. I know it from your long lost auntie. So quit the pretense. I heard everything. Uh, I'm sorry, Ngozi. You know, I really trusted her. What's 
going on? I ask, do you tell me? Of course not. Then you send a message for me to come and help you pack. From your dear Mama Tutu. Why? Naturally again. No reply. Janet, I promise I'll tell you everything later, but not now. But not now. Yes, that will spoil the suspense. I thought we were friends, but now I don't just... Please! All right, all right. I won't ask again. Okay, Tini. Ah, how did you do? Oh, my day. Ah, oh, for me, kill it, Jenny. That day, that will be. Dark, my day. For Iji. All right, was an honey for Iji, what? Dark. I trusted you, Mama. Please forgive me, Ngozi. Bamidili is my nephew. I just couldn't... Just forgive me. Please. Forgive me. Kari, my dear. Kari, where are you? We are speaking here of a different culture of a different people who possess a different order of knowledge, scientific knowledge, which your so-called Western scientific precision tools have not yet been able to analyze. I have witnessed a demonstration of the talismanic efficacy of some objects treated with herbs. And as a medical practitioner of long standing, trained in the West, I have had occasion to diagnose a psychosomatic pregnancy that resulted in the birth of a baby despite the lack of fetal reading. Ladies and gentlemen, the existence of some yet unexplained forces, causes and effects in African cultural practices can no longer be denied. And the purpose of my paper is to encourage a more humble, a more academic, a more research-oriented approach to the study of African medical practice and the Western medical profession itself, if it can drop its toga of arrogant pride, still has a lot to learn from the so-called African herbalist. This is really objectionable. Professor has really done it. Well, what if he's right? Oh, spirits, demons, psychosomatic pregnancies. That's ridiculous. Well, how can we be sure? Thank you, VP, for coming as I sent for you. Thank you. We must settle this thing between my daughter and her husband. Once and for all. I am sorry I accused you wrongly, Ngozi. Um, Papa visited me and told me all you've been through. You should have told me. Who could have done this to you anyway? Would you have believed me? Make up now for your marriage sake. I'm your son. Yes, sir. I needed you so much this past week, Yinka. How I needed you. I forgive you. You are a lucky man to have a well-behaved and disciplined woman for wife. Never doubt her again. Never, sir. Now, we must go and remove this spell on my door.